Once we get into Final Cut Pro, if you don't see your transitions over to the right hand side, you can easily access them by going up top to Windows, Show in Workspace, and check on Transitions. And this is going to call up your transition category. And inside there, you should see Transition Punch. And as we scroll through, you're going to see a whole bunch of different transitions in there. Now, some of these you're going to have a control board for where you can change certain visual effects to the transitions. Uh, those are going to be for the more complex transitions, such as glitch here. So if I take glitch, I drag and drop it between my two shots. You can see I have a nice little glitch transition here. And if I highlight that transition and go to the right hand effects board, you're going to see uh, a bunch of different options for my glitch transitions. So I can play with the opacity, the scale of the glitch element, the split strength. So you can play with these different features to gain a totally different type of glitch design. Some other transitions are going to be a little bit more simplified where you're not going to have as many different features. So given the transition, if you highlight the transition over to the right hand side, you can check out your control board options. And if you just scroll through the preview, you can kind of get an idea of what that transition is going to look like. So now, I'm going to go down to uh, zoom for a second. If I drag and drop that between my shots, I can just grab the edges here and change the duration. Now you're going to notice that some of these transitions work better the faster that you tighten up that transition, or in some cases, the longer you spread out that transition. So mess around, depending on what transition you're looking to use. In the case of something like a zoom, I think you're going to find that the transition works better when you tighten the duration and make it shorter so that the transition works quicker. And in the case of something like a glitches where you could extend that duration out and get a, a, a nicer effect that drags over time a little bit. When you start playing with your transitions, you do have also the ultimate transition sound pack. So once you've downloaded your sound packs, inside the sound packs, you're gonna see the ultimate transition sound pack folder. And you wanna import that folder and to do that, just going to go to File, Import, Import Media, and select my new Ultimate Transition Sound Pack. And you're going to see a, a variety of folders here for all different sound effects for transitions. These are 24-bit wave. I'm going to select and import. And then you should see all your different transition sounds in here. So if I just hit my space bar, So when we want to mix the two together, all we're going to do, in this case, I'm going to take a swipe transition, very simple, drag and drop it between my two shots. Now I'm going to go up top to my swipes category in the transition sound pack, drag and drop it underneath my two shots, underneath my transition. Now certainly you can stack these sound effects so you can get more complex sound mixes during your transition. In this case, I'm just using a simple swipe to give you the idea of adding the transition with the sound. And you can mix and match. There's not one sound that matches certain transitions. It's all about you experimenting, designing, and getting the look and feel that you desire. So enjoy. Enjoy.